Y'all, thank you so much for joining me in this five-day challenge to play the keyboard. And today is the last day. We're going to wrap up. And I hope that this kickstarts your keyboard playing, that it gives you inspiration to keep learning and to keep enjoying this beautiful instrument. So today we're going to learn how to use your left hand on the black keys while playing major and minor chords on your right hand. And of course, we're going to play a new song which is the most important part for you to enjoy this instrument. And please stick with me till the end because I'm going to explain to you how to move forward from here, how I can help you further. And if you have any questions, always feel free to either send me an email, send it to music at christinewaters.com, or you can always just send me a message on Facebook, on the Christine Waters Facebook page. And if these videos have been very helpful for you, make sure you hit subscribe or like below. And of course, again, if you are just stumbling upon this video without seeing the other ones before it, make sure you join the challenge below to get access to the worksheet and the chord sheets that go along with the challenges. All right, so let's get to today's lesson. Let's do a quick review on how to play your left hand. A couple days ago, I gave you the formula. We said that when we play the left hand, we start with a root, and then we take three and a half steps to find our second note. And then from there, we take two and a half steps to find our last note. So if you were playing a C sharp, our root will be C sharp. Our middle note is a G sharp, and then our last note is also a C sharp, but on the octave above the first no. So that, in essence, is called your 151 scale tones, or 8 if you prefer. So 158 or 151. So as far as fingering goes, we're using fingers 5, 2, 1. So again, on your C sharp, or which is also called the D flat, whether you're playing major or minor, you'll be using C sharp, G sharp, and C sharp. And for your D sharp or E flat major or minor, you'll be using D sharp, A sharp, and D sharp. For your F sharp or G flat, you're using F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. For G sharp or A flat, starting with G sharp, you'll have D sharp and G sharp. And finally, for your A sharp or B flat, you'll be using A sharp, F, and A sharp. So for your exercise, you want to play the major and minor chords on the black keys with your left hand using the 151 scale tones that I just showed you. But before you do, please watch this demonstration video to help you understand it better. In this video, we will take a look at the major and minor in the black keys on the left hand. We basically use the same 151 scale tones with both the major and minor as we did with the left hand for the white keys. For instance, for our C sharp major or minor, we will have C sharp, G sharp, and C sharp for our left hand. Or if we look at it in terms of flats, for our D flat major or minor, we will have D flat, A flat, and D flat. Our next black key will be the D sharp, and for that, we will play D sharp, A sharp, and D sharp on the left hand. Or in terms of flats, we will be playing E flat, B flat, E flat. Next, we have the F sharp. And for that, we will play F sharp, C sharp, and F sharp. Or G flat, D flat, G flat. And then we have G sharp, for which we will play G sharp, D sharp, and G sharp or A flat, E flat, and A flat. Finally, we have our A sharp, or also known as B flat. For that, we will play A sharp, F, A sharp, or B flat, F, B flat. So that covers all our black keys in the left hand. Again, whether it's major or minor, we'll be playing the same 1-5-1 one, one scale tones. So again, we have C sharp or D flat, 
D sharp or E flat, F sharp or G flat, G sharp or A flat, and A sharp or B flat. So now let's put both hands together, playing the major and minor chords in the black keys. So this will be our C sharp major, or D flat, and our C sharp minor, or D flat minor. Let's go to our D sharp, or E flat, and D sharp minor, or E flat minor. Next we have F sharp or G flat and F sharp minor or G flat minor. And then we have G sharp or A flat and G sharp minor or A flat minor. And finally we have A sharp or B flat and A sharp minor or B flat minor. So for your homework this week, I'd like you to play all the major and minor keys in the white and the black keys. And to make it simpler for you, you'd want to go through them doing the sharp keys first and then the flat keys. So let me demonstrate. I will go with C, C minor, C sharp, C sharp minor, D, D minor, D sharp, D sharp minor, E, E minor, F, F minor, F sharp, F sharp minor, G, G minor, G sharp, G sharp minor, A, A minor, A sharp, A sharp minor, and Now let's go back down. Let's start with B, B minor, B flat, B flat minor, A, A minor, A flat, A flat minor, G, G minor, G flat, G flat minor, F, F minor, E minor, E flat, E flat minor, D, D minor, D flat, D flat minor, and C, C minor. So again, you'd want to go through it going up and down with using the sharp names going up and then the flat names going down. Okay, so I hope that video helped you understand it. Now let's get to the application of what we've learned. We're going to apply it to the song, Fill Me Up. Let's apply what we've learned so far using the song, Fill Me Up by Will Regan. We're gonna use only two chords in this song. We have a C sharp minor and an E major. So on the left hand, we have, again, C sharp minor and E major. We are going to play it at 72 beats per minute at 4-4 four, four time signature. We will start with the intro, and we will play each chord with the right hand four times, with the left hand just once per measure. Let me demonstrate. Fire 
provide the sacrifice And you provide the spirit Okay, so good. Now, to practice everything that we've learned throughout this challenge, here's what you want to do. First, you want to play the C scale in both hands together at 70 BPM. Play the major and minor chords on the white and black keys with both hands. And play the song Fill Me Up with each hand. And then when you're comfortable playing it in each hand separately, Put both hands together at 72 BPM. Okay, now for our announcements. What you've learned in this five-day challenge is actually all that I teach in my keyboard starter course and 101 course. I want to announce that I'm also opening up my keyboard playing 102 course again. And this course starts on July 27th. It's a 12-week class, and in this class, we cover each major key family and their scales. We cover how to change keys. We go from using blocked chords, which is what you've been using so far, into broken chords. And then I give you one tip each week so that you can improve your playing. And we also, of course, learn one song a week which is the most important part. You're applying what you're learning to be able to enjoy this instrument. And we also learn a new chord type each week and also apply that to the songs that we're playing. We also talk about inversions, different ways of playing the same chord, etc. Okay, in this class, we will have weekly checkups where I'll get on a Zoom meeting with you to make sure you're understanding the course and everything that's being taught. And then following that course, we also have Keyboard Playing 103, in which we will focus on the minor keys. And this will start approximately on October 26, or whenever the 102 class finishes. It's also a 12-week class. And again, we'll cover each minor key family and their scales. We'll get into chord triad exercises. We'll learn one song a week. We will learn additional chord types that have not been covered in 102. We'll get into arpeggios, which will expand your keyboard playing, etc. And of course, we will have weekly checkups on this one as well. Again, it'll be a Zoom meeting where I will check up with you, make sure you're following the class. I have a special deal for you, which is what I'm calling the keyboard playing bundle for $194 for 24 weeks of classes. That is comparable to a 15 to $25 per week and half hour lessons, which if you would compare it, 24 weeks times $15 is $360, but I am offering it for only $194, which if you only wanna get keyboard 102, it will be just $97. And then you can decide later on if you want to get both. What is the actual value of this course? Well, it includes Keyboard Playing 101, which is a $45 value. Keyboard Playing 102, which is a $297 value. And Keyboard Playing 103, which is also $297. It includes the weekly checkups, which is valued at $480. Now, a lot of courses out there online, you don't get the weekly checkups. You just do everything on your own. But I like to follow up with you. Make sure you're following along with the course. And you also get into a private Facebook group, which is valued at $500, totaling $1,619. But I don't want to charge you that much. That's just not feasible for you, I'm sure. 
So the deal I'm giving you today is $194 for 28 weeks of classes, which you can also break down into payments of $35 a month for six months, which is what your 28 weeks equals to. Or as I mentioned earlier, if you prefer, you can just do keyboard playing 102 for $97 which you can break down into three payments of $35 a month. And either way, you're going to get Keyboard Playing 101 for free. And later on, you can add on 103 if you decide to do so. And of course, I am offering a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you decide that this course is not for you, it's just not working, you're not learning anything, just let me know and I'd be happy to refund you your money. I don't want to waste your time. I truly want to help people learn how to play the keyboard. So if you're not benefiting from the class, just let me know. All right, so to sign up for this class, just go to myfutureisalive.teachable.com. Choose the class that you want. If you want the full bundle, you'd want to purchase 103 and it will automatically include everything. If you just want 102, you can choose keyboard playing 102 and it should include keyboard playing one-on-one for you. All right, and I hope to see you soon.